Peace, love, and balance, everybody. Peace, love, and balance. And happy Holy Day, y'all. This is Holy Day. This is the day of love. And it's also the day of freedom. So, as y'all can see, I got my O's button, Fire Hoodie Queen on. If you don't know what this means, it means independent emancipation and freedom, y'all. Like I said, this is Freedom Day. Welcome to the channel. This is Freedom Day. So, y'all, Friday has always been the Holy Day uh, for so many reasons. It's, and it's Venus Day. It's associated with Venus, all right? So I want to do a Holy Day reading today to get y'all a good boost. I know y'all don't have, you know, some eventful weeks, all right? And want to give y'all a positive message to get through the rest of this weekend, all right? And stay positive and stay uplifted, all right? And by the way, I am Isha, the goddess of wisdom, also known as the Copper Queen, the Father Holy Queen, the goddess on the rise, bringing this sacred energy change to, to, to y'all. I'm about to shuffle these cards. I'm going to ring my bell here in a second. Y'all, this is one of my powerful decks right here. It is my, uh, it's called Black uh, Dust to Onyx deck. I really love this deck. I have a lot of powerful decks. And I do a lot of spiritual work with my decks, y'all. All right, one more shuffle. And I'm going to cut. One more shuffle. Right. And let me cut this deck and I'm going to ring my bell. Earth, air, fire, water. Spirit, universe, most high, higher selves, and spirit guides of white light. Please come into this space and provide insight, enlightenment, harmony, and balance, freedom, and ascension, and love. Hotel. So, all right, let me pull these three cards coming in on the tarot energy, okay? Uh-oh, I got a double, a one, a, a double sticker. One stuck. They don't want to come apart. All right. First card coming in. The sun, y'all. Let's ring the bell. Okay, I felt that when I got up today. The sun, y'all. So we're definitely in this sun energy. Okay, I do feel the uh, a, a rebirth, uh, a renewal energy right now, and this is this is some Leo energy too. So I do feel like somebody is shining like a star, like the sun right now. You're you're definitely in an ascended time right now. So somebody's going through an ascension. I do feel like somebody kind of been in a like. Uh, what they call the wheel of fortune where somebody has been going through hard times and now you're on the rise and you, you're in the spotlight and you're about to shine and you already shining but you're about to really receive all your shine in the physical like i do feel somebody been going through a hard time and it took a lot for you to stay positive and realize that your time is here and it's now and, and it because on this in this physical world sometimes it time is slower but we gotta remember time is illusion so we've been having to work on being patient with ourselves and in general and and loving and growing and doing what we're supposed to do in the meantime so you won't be so heavily focused on getting there you're gonna miss things that you need to learn along the way okay so take that hair but the bottom line you you win it you win it okay second card coming in is the seven of staff so this is some more fire energy i see this seven of staff this is some fire energy this is also the number seven so about luck so this is some more leo aries and sagittarius energy so i mean y'all see how this crystal is coming out of this this area right here somebody is birthing like somebody is somebody is maybe going through a purification right now this time so somebody could be healing i tell y'all about the the ground or the portal grounding like going outside and literally you know you don't post to wear underwear or or pants men or women and find some kind of sheet or towel and sit on the ground so somebody has been cleaning their body that's why i feel like you see how this stone is in there on their head somebody has literally been cleaning their body okay and ridding their body from toxic things that no longer serve them so you could be going through celibacy right now learning how to really love yourself self-love and this could be a man or woman take it how it resonates because you you realize you know your worth now okay somebody is in a place where i know my worth now you're like you're in this shining star somebody has way more confidence now about themselves, and they they're no longer gonna allow themselves to be used or and they don't want to use anybody okay so you they and I, I mean i'm beyond somebody also could be birthing a baby somebody could be expecting or maybe you want kids but you're you're some kind of curator with this energy right here you're some kind of creator people want to have babies with you either way all right the rider look at this look at this feline angela it's a lot of feline energy coming out here. You see this rider? You see how she um uh, she got this line beside her? Somebody got some somebody got riders with them, okay? 
somebody is a rider. So I feel like you've been your type of person. You're, you're very dependable and you're very loyal and you know who you are and you know your worth. So now you're attracting somebody that got the same energy as you. Okay. Somebody's going to be your like, I, I don't like to say ride or die, but ride or live. Okay. And to the death, you know what I'm saying? But this is somebody that's like for real. And they, and I'm going to tell you another thing. This ain't going to be some kind of easy situation. This person knows they were. So y'all going to take y'all time on this, but I do feel like some kind of love connection with them. Or I feel like some friendship really. Somebody's about to build a friendship with somebody, but it is going to, you know, uh, ascend into a loving relationship. But right now, it's going to be a friendship, and you're going to see the loyalty and love that you've always wanted just in a friendship with somebody. And it could be of the opposite sex or the same sex. Take it how it resonates, okay? So let me pull for my other deck right here. That's that's powerful, y'all. Somebody got a rider out here watching them. Like, I want to ride with you, all right? Seeing that loyalty, okay? All right, so let's pull. This is my Ascension deck. I love this deck. I'm starting to work with this deck a lot more, y'all. My Ascension deck. See all these positive messages, all right? And if you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe to me on YouTube uh, and on TikTok. I'm on TikTok as God is on the Rise, and I'm on YouTube at Sacred Energy Exchange 222, all right? And subscribe there where I get more fuller, detailed readings. Thank you so much. And I'm on Facebook as well. All right. First card coming in. Underworld. Oh, look. So, I just went this bell on this. So, I do feel like somebody been having some heavy dreams in the dream world right now. Somebody has, you could be a time traveler, but the bottom line is you've been having a lot of things getting revealed to you in the dream world. Some of them have been painful. Some of them been, have been enlightening, but there's so many messages in your dream world. So, if you need help interpreting your dreams, you can contact me about that too. Because there's so much hidden symbolism, even in the pain in your dream that you may need to address. So, somebody has really been in some deep thoughts in the dream world, okay? Take the have resonance, okay? And whatever's in these dreams, it's some true stuff. So I'm going to tell you nothing. Don't, especially right now, this is the age of Aquarius. So them dreams is reality, okay? It's, it's, it's waiting on you to bring them into the physical. That's, this is the stuff that's in your subconscious mind. Higher perspective. Let's ring the bell. So yeah, the dreams are trying to help you get to a, a more higher perspective on things. It's, it's about growth. So I do feel like maybe somebody had a dream last night. It could have been like a painful dream or something. You know, sometimes when it's shadow work or constructive criticism, we don't want to hear that. But it's trying to get you to get to a higher, higher place. Because I, I do feel like somebody could have been missing some lessons and still focus on the wrong things, okay? Still focus on the wrong things, all right? And they're trying to tell you that, no, we got to get you on higher ground, okay? It's time to raise your vibration. That's the energy I'm channeling right now. They need you to see. You see this eye right here? They, like, they been wanting you to look deeper, okay? That's the energy I'm channeling. Like, they, like, get out of the physical and look deeper, okay? Look deeper, okay? That's the message for y'all, okay? The revolutionary. Oh, my God. I felt that. Somebody is a revolutionary, okay? Somebody is a revolutionary. I do feel like somebody is some type of leader in their community. You're some, oh, even if it's not in your community, you're a leader in your household. You're a leader even in your family. That's another thing. Somebody and somebody is a leader in all areas of their life. They don't even realize somebody is a leadership to people that they don't even know they're being a leader leader to. So you're you're a revolutionary, and you. And you don't, and you don't even know who uh, look up to you. That's the energy I'm trying to. You don't even realize how many people truly look up to you, okay? And 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 seek your advice, okay? And honestly, seek your your help, okay? Seek your help, your advice, seek your purpose. Like they 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 feel like you you are bliss to them. You know what I'm saying? You are a gift to them. That's the energy I'm trying to. Somebody feels like you're a gift to them, okay? Take that hat, resonate. Be proud of yourself for that, okay? You're a gift to somebody, to the world. You are. We are somebody. I tell people that you are. Somebody look seven 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 bottom of the deck. If you've been seeing this number a lot, you get to hit the jackpot. I'm telling you, I I prefer I've been seeing this number. I seen on you know, somebody license plate last night. So pay attention to these angel numbers, y'all. The universe is telling you, hold on, be patient, just hold on. If you've been seeing 11, 11, 111, 222, 555, all that, these changes, 444. They lighten you up because they're getting you ready for this bliss. And you got and you had to pass the hard test first. You had to get rid of the self-doubt. You had to break some toxic cycles, some karmics. People don't understand. You still got to go through your karma. Those tower moments. That's what we call them. But now, you're about to be radiating in the sun. Okay? That's beautiful. Y'all about to be radiating in the sun. All right? So, I'm going to get you these ancestor messages. Look, 888, y'all. I am abundant. I'm telling y'all. Abundance is here. So, don't worry about money anymore. You are abundant. Pay attention to your spiritual frequency. If you got people helping you out coming through for you it don't always have to be money doing things for each other and helping each other and loving each other that's abundance okay 
that's abundance. So you got to think about the, your spiritual currency, okay? You got all you need. All right. Pulling this. 111. And I just posted this number, okay? I felt it. And something told me to pull the number. Something told me to post that 1111 now before you do your live. I'm telling you, I'm divinely guided by the universe. I practice cosmology and I am in tune with the universe and Mother Earth, okay? That's intentional. I can't do my purpose without her, okay? So, look, she said the universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and helping you wake up to who you truly are. This is that revolutionary energy. Somebody is a revolution, okay? Somebody is a revolutionary on some Fred Hampton, some uh, Malcolm X, some Harriet Tubman, like for real. Kwame Toure, somebody is literally a, 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 a prophet, okay? Somebody is a prophet, all right? And you need to step out and step out and receive, okay? You're going through awakening. Some, that's something people don't know spiritual awakening. I, t I gotta keep telling y'all this. Spiritual awakenings are tough because the more you know, the more painful the truth is, and the more lies that you know you've been under, the spell that you've been under, the matrix you've been under, you like, you're just so like, oh my God, what was I doing? What was I thinking? That energy just, it be it gets heavy. And I'm going to be honest, you know, some people have harmed themselves because of this because they couldn't take staying in the 3D, just like the Matrix. Remember, they was having to live in the 3D, eating the stuff that they was eating that was, you know, that wasn't what the other people was eating. Remember that dude that was eating that fake steak? People can't handle it. They can't handle it. So some tr traders come up like a Judah and all that stuff. But you're going to be protected from all that. I am a leader. What did I tell y'all? You are a leader. Do y'all see this? This is a divine message. Whoever listens to this, this message is for you. In an effort to accomplish great things, you recognize the value of working with others. You make a capable and compassionate leader who can bring people together and drive a team towards achievement, okay? You're a leader, okay? You got to know your worth. You're a leader, okay? And, I, and like I said, you know how to bring people together. You realize, I, I just had a talk with another sister like myself. She's a healer like me. And I was telling her, keeping it real, I don't care how powerful I am individually. I'm not trying to heal everybody by myself because we still healing as healers. So I was like, we need all the healers male female brujos and brujas all that together we need healers and i, I just met I, one of my brothers we took a picture last night running into each other getting some healing so that's what i'm saying we need men and women healing together this is that energy right here okay we leaders we got to be leaders okay we all got to be leaders it can't just be one the days of one leader and one prophet and one revolutionary is over we need multiple in the hundreds and the thousands all over the world in every city and every state okay you need, you need leaders and healers. And that's what's happening right now. And you one of them people. So go ahead and step into your purpose, okay? I am disciplined, all right? Somebody needs some discipline. So we got your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination. Your mind is stirring with creative ideas and you have the organizational skills to manifest them into the light, into this life. So look, the bottom line is I do feel like somebody's a creator. That's why we pulled this card about the underworld. Somebody dreams a lot. And even has visions a lot. And you have the power to make those visions come into your reality, okay? That's why they said you it's a practical and imagination. Some of that stuff is a bit imagination. And this stuff you can learn from that imagination thinking too. And some of this stuff is actually practical. It's logical that you can actually manifest. So somebody need to know their power. You're a revolutionary. And I'm, that's another thing. That's why you have this power. Because you're a leader, and you're a revolutionary. The universe don't give power to people that's going to abuse it. Because even though she does, she will take it away because you, you're abusing your power. But you're using your power to be a leader and to be a revolutionary to heal yourself and to heal others. Okay? So you can be a blessing to the world, a blessing to your community. The universe is taking care. That's another thing. The universe is taking care of the healers and the chosen ones, y'all. Make no mistake about that. The universe is taking care of the chosen ones and healers. Whatever you call yourself. You call yourself a shaman. You call yourself a prophet. You call yourself a, a wizard, warlock, whatever it is, okay? Emperors, empresses. But these people are going to be taken care of so they can continue to take care of themselves and you. Because this is the time of healing. This is the time of healing, growth, and expansion, and unity, okay? All around the world. Everybody's unifying. Y'all don't know. We still are in the energy of the pandemic. We still healing from that. That was a lot to happen, y'all. And we still healing from that. And we realize now how easy life can life can change. That five five five. 
All right. And now we are more grateful for one another. And we realize showing this every day because the next day is not promised. That's one thing the 2020 taught us. The next day is not promised. I don't care what your age is. We used to think that, you know, transition, you know, which what people call death was only a elder thing. No, it ain't. I met it was people that I that were younger than me that transitioned 25 from COVID 30. That was a tough time that we still cannot forget about. We cannot forget about that. So if you're still here today, you need to be grateful, okay? And look, I'm going to pull this car back up. You need to realize it's time for you to birth some great things. I do feel like somebody about to have get married and have some children with somebody. But you also need to get into your creativity. That's really what this energy is talking about. You are creative. You are a god or a goddess. You need to start creating things, okay? You probably got some ideas like that, that car said about a leader you're a leader so you naturally have creativity because you know how to create things that bring people together in harmony and balance and you need to start doing that okay it's needed stop hiding it it's needed and that's honestly how you're gonna find your soul tribe or your husband or your wife okay take it how it resonates you gotta be you you got to be you so that's all i got for y'all today if y'all like this content please like share and subscribe to me on youtube at sacred energy exchange 222 if you're following me here at follow hootie queen thank you share the page also follow me on tiktok now i have tiktok now it's got us on the rise i'm on facebook as well and my jury page follow me at ajatcu u d j a t c u check out my copper jury i ain't got my name tag on today but check out my copper jury look this is my name tag right here check out my copper jury y'all y'all know i'm the copper queen i'm a healer my healing jury will activate you and heal you i'm telling you, it's gonna bring you up it's gonna keep you well too copper is something we need to wear on a daily basis okay it literally will boost your immune system it radiates love it's cleansing it's purifying and it's charging so if you've been sleepy if joints and bones all the issues it, it will help with all that okay so i thank y'all so much also if y'all want to book a reading with me that email is sacred energy exchange 222 at gmail.com okay email me and i'm gonna put all that stuff at the end of this video i thought uh, i'm gonna save it and share it and y'all get in touch with me get those readings because we still in this virgo full moon energy and we about to come into this spring equinox and y'all need to know what y'all need to do so y'all can stay in alignment with the universe so y'all can really manifest what you want all right so i'm gonna ring this bell send this energy back to the light earth air fire water spirit until next time peace love and balance Happy Holy Day.